One of the survivors of the train accident in Ikeja, Lagos, has narrated how she narrowly escaped being hurt or even probably killed in the bus. She was traveling with this bus that was carrying the staff of Lagos State uh, Government. And she said that she has a favorite corner where she sits in this bus. So he's using this bus frequently. But on this very fateful day of the accident, someone else, a colleague of hers, she said, saved her life. Because the place that she used to sit regularly in the bus was the very point of contact when the train hit the bus. And you can imagine if she was sitting in that place. Remember that the driver of the bus, by name Uluwa Shen Ushim Bajo, has been begging for forgiveness, blaming the accident on a mechanical fault in the bus. But however, survivors have said that he had an earpiece on, maybe he was listening to music while driving and ignored the signal man at the rail line who was telling him to stop. But he has undergone several tests, including psychiatric, and authorities have said that he will be prosecuted. So this lady said that her survivor was a miracle. Is a civil servant that works for the Lagos state government. He said he would have been one of those in the mall. What a very, very sad story and touching story also. She said she boarded the bus at Ikotu and sat on the middle row close to the window, a position that had become her permanent seat. But on this fateful day, a friend, he didn't want to mention the name, invited her to come and sit with her on the third row in the front. So she said the person she reserved the seat for called to say that she won't be joining the staff bus. That's what a friend told her. And that was how she now left her permanent seat, which happened to be the exact place, the exact place where the train hit. And anytime she remembers that, she will quickly dismiss the thought of death with a shrug. It can only be God, and I am grateful. Wow. There's also another survivor who simply gave her name as Ukbe, and he said she woke up to shouts of Emma Loiduro, Emma Loiduro. According to Ukbe, the staff boss conveys every staff of the Lagos State Government living in a Kotu, like a solo area irrespective of the department or agency, as long as the staff, I mean, is headed to the secretariat in Ikeja. So she sat on uh, in the first three rows in front and slept off immediately, oh my goodness, in order to catch some sleep before reaching the office. You know, in Lagos, if you start work by 8, you have to leave your house at 5 o'clock because of uh, traffic, sometimes maybe even earlier. But he said she was just told from her sleep by shouts of Emma Loiduro, don't go, don't go, wait. They were shouting to the driver and he woke up to know what was happening. But before he could raise her head, he had a loud bang. Impact flung many of them from their seats. The driver was just not listening to anybody, even when they are shouting for him not to go. She said she hit her head on a hard object and passed out. By the time she opened her eyes, she found herself in an ambulance that brought her to Rile Agege General Hospital. Other survivors that were taken to Rila Agege General Hospital on that Thursday we also included one Mr. Juwon Fagbo, 27, from the Agency for Mass Education at Desuji Ajibade 
of the office of the head of service, Mariam or Laiwala, so many of them that we cannot count now. However, there are 32 survivors of that uh, train road bus accident who have been discharged from the hospital. The Lagos State Commissioner of Health, Sake Abayomi, says that the two survivors of the train and bus accident that occurred in Lagos have been discharged from different hospitals, not one hospital. He said this during a news conference while updating the reporters on the accident in Lagos. The commissioner said that the accident recorded 102 casualties, including six fatalities. According to him, all the patients were presently in stable medical condition. Six casualties, six fatalities. Oh my goodness. He said the 19 survivors of the accident were discharged from the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, that's last suit, five from the Tollgate Trauma Center, and eight from Rurile Agege General Hospital. He added that all the victims with varying degrees of injuries and life threatening conditions were admitted and treated at last suit. 25 patients with moderate injuries were later referred to the or five general hospitals in Lagos for further treatment and to the congest lawsuit where many of them were brought to. People donated 256 voluntary units of blood and 40 units were transfused yesterday. He commended the blood donor saying that it would assist to replenish the state's blood bank. Abayomi, however, noted, that based on existing policy, medical bills of all patients treated as a result of the accident will be covered by the state government. Very good indeed that they will do it at least. He commended the staff of last suits and other health workers for their prompt reaction and attention. Well, there were 85 passengers in this bus. 85. We need to know whether it was overloaded. Because 85 in one bus, that's quite a lot. 17 people associated the, with the accident among 42 sustained mo uh, moderate injuries, 29 uh, serious and 8 mild injuries. All the information is quite a lot on what happened, but the emphasis is on uh, the driver. That's where I want to direct my attention to because when you drive a public um, bus or transport system, you need to be more responsive, more responsible. You cannot just be going. When the passengers are shouting at you, don't go, don't go, wait, wait, a duro, and you just continued. And now this is the big prize. Very unfortunate. They have to regulate these drivers and see what they do. That's the update on the survivors. And please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you in our next update.